Hello everybody, this is Not A Crypto Expert chiming in with another video. In this video, I am going to install the Ledger Manager on my Nano Ledger S so that I can install the uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and a few other coins as well as one ERC token that I have over to my Nano Ledger S. The requirements for using the application, um, well, installing wallets on a device is uh, Chrome web browser. The operating system, uh, it, it runs on Windows, Mac, or OS X, or, well, no, uh, yeah, Mac and uh, Linux. The main thing is just that you have to use Chrome's web browser. So I am logged into my Chrome account or my Gmail account, and I am just going to scroll down to where the actual application is. It's all the way down at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to click install. Oh, and here are the system requirements right here. So click install. And it's going to ask me for my permission to add this to my browser. This is who it's by. It's from extensions. 600,000 people have downloaded it so far. So I am going to go ahead and download this or add it to Chrome. Excuse me. It's going to give it basically permission to your computer click on add app all right now I am already authenticated on my ledger I've already typed in my pin number so here's the new app here I'm just gonna click on it and if you sign into a different web browser this will follow you your, your apps will so you don't have to worry about losing your Chrome apps unless you lose access to your Gmail account Alright, so I am being prompted that there is a new firmware update available. I'm not going to do that in this video. However, I am connected, I believe. So let's try to install the Bitcoin wallet. Okay, on my Nano Ledger S, I am being prompted to allow the Ledger Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And now it's installing the application. okay and now it is now showing up on my device a, a new icon has appeared so that was pretty easy I'm going to delete it now to see how easy that is and it did not prompt me to confirm the uh, deletion of the application so be careful if you uh, have a tendency to press things too quickly because if you press delete it will delete it for you even though you can add it right back and let's see if it's going to ask me for authentication on the app or on the uh, nano ledger s it did not so maybe if it's it just requires authentication one time but that is uh, all this video was about was just showing you how to install the nano ledger wallet or manager excuse me nano wallet manager and how to install the bitcoin wallet on the nano ledger s and as always have a great morning great evening or a great afternoon